Hello everyone, welcome to the first Sunday in Lent. We hope you have enjoyed the three aspects of gifting that we have shared with you. So for this season of Lent, we will have something called the Lenten wreath. Only in this season of Lent, we will concentrate on a crown of thorns and light six candles for the six Sundays in Lent. And so, today we light our first candle in Lent with this prayer. Almighty God, whose Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted, come quickly to help us when we are tempted to stay away from our faith. You know our weakness and yet are confident of your power to protect us from all wrong. Forgive us our faults through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let us hear our dear Jesse proclaim the Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel of Luke. Jesus returned from the Jordan, full of the Holy Spirit, and was led by the Spirit into the desert, where he was tempted by the devil. For forty days, in all that time, he ate nothing, so that he was hungry. When it was over, the devil said to him, If you are God's son, order the stones to turn into bread. Jesus answered, The scripture says, Man can't only live on bread alone. The devil took him up and showed him in a second all the kingdoms of the world. I will give you all this power and all this wealth. The devil told him, It has been handed over to me and I can give it to anyone I choose. All this will be yours. Then if you worship me, Jesus answered, The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. The devil took him to Jerusalem and set him on the highest point of the temple and said to him, If you are God, throw yourself down from here. For the scripture says, God will order his angels to take good care of you. It also says that they will hold you up with their hands so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. But Jesus said, the scripture says, Do not put the Lord your God to test. When the devil finished tempting Jesus in every way, he left him for a while. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. This is such a strong and important account of Jesus' life. Jesus was mocked twice for being the Son of God. Even today, some people mock us and make fun of us for making time for God or prioritizing Mass over a party or a get-together. We have our tuitions, our office jobs, our picnics that ask us to prioritize them over our faith. Jesus knew himself and hence it is very important to know ourselves. Knowing our own selves is the best gift that we can give to us. Jesus' experience teaches us that there is nothing wrong with being tempted. It is how we react to the temptation that matters. Jesus uses scripture to speak to temptation. And I'm sure you and me can do that as well. The Faith Unfiltered team dedicates this week to giving, to complete the word gifted. We will see you in this week to have a deeper understanding of our theme, gifted. Goodbye and see you tomorrow.